Hello everybody, welcome back to It's Red. I have been gone for a minute. I apologize, but I'm back. So I have a quick and easy recipe for you guys. So we're gonna be making some fried shrimp. I do use the Andes Cajun um, breading, but we're gonna doctor this up because if you just use this, it's, it's not gonna be good. So. This is the shrimp that I'm using. They're just like some jumbo shrimp um, that I just cleaned. And yep, this is the shrimp we're gonna use. So let's get started on our bread and mix. Okay, so we're gonna go with two different mixes. We're gonna do a wet mix and a dry mix. So we're gonna try, um, start on the wet, no, the uh, dry first, which, we're gonna work with this. Let me open it up really fast. Okay, so I don't really measure, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, so just know we need enough. So, so far, probably use about half of the bag. I'm gonna use a little more than half. Okay, so, so far this is how much? This is about a cup. Yeah, that's about a cup. So next we're gonna add some to the other bowl as well. And we just need probably about a half a cup for that. Next, we're gonna take some flour, whatever flour you use. I use brown uh, wheat flour, whole grain flour. So I'm just gonna take about, <laughs> whoo, that seasoning, excuse me. We're gonna take about a half a cup of the flour and we're just gonna add that to our wet mix. Next, we're gonna take about, about a quarter of a cup and add that to our dry mix. Then we're gonna need a spoon to mix that up really fast. I'm gonna use a fork. Yeah, I'm gonna use a fork. Okay, so this is the wet one. Mm-hmm, just like that. Mix it well. And this is the wet mix, and this is the dry one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after that, we're going to season our mixes. So we're going to use the same seasonings for each. I have some Italian seasoning. And I'm just eyeballing you season how you season. It doesn't matter. Of course, I love Italian seasoning. And of course, we're making a mess, but that's okay because we're going to clean that up. I'm going to use some red lobster seafood seasoning. Some chili powder. Which, whoop, yeah. Almost did the whole bottle. Well, it wasn't a lot in there anyway, but that's fine. You put how much you want to put. We're going to use some Reagan, Reagan Cajun. I don't know how you um, pronounce that name, but Reagan Cajun Fixins All Purpose Cajun Seasoning. We're going to use some of that. And the reason I'm seasoning this mix, because this mix. It says Cajun, but it is not seasoned. So if you do not season it, you will not taste no seasoning in it. And some garlic powder. And we can't forget the pepper, of course. Black pepper. And then we're just gonna mix this up. Then next, we're gonna put those to the side. 
And of course, let me wipe down my area a little bit. <laughs> So next we're going to take our shrimp and we're going to season this up as well. You don't have to go OD with the seasoning, it's just you have to make sure you season the shrimp. I'm using those same seasonings, not too much. I'm not going to use the... Uh, the K, I meant the uh, the K, uh, chili powder. We used enough of that. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna touch it. I'm gonna use another spoon or fork. I'm gonna use a spoon. I don't wanna touch it yet. So I'm gonna use the spoon and just give this a good mix. And of course you guys um, have your, you can have your oil heating or you can heat it up last, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start heating my oil now. Um, any high temperature oil is fine. I'm gonna use some avocado oil. But any high temperature uh, oil is fine. I mean, I'm not using avocado oil, I'm using grapeseed oil, sorry. But avocado oil is fine, it does not matter. You can use um, vegetable oil, whatever oil is to your liking. Okay, so let's start on this wet batter once again. So what we're gonna add to our wet batter, we're gonna add an egg. We're gonna add a little bit of milk and a little bit of water. So I'm using almond milk. I don't use regular milk. So whatever milk is uh, you use is fine. So yeah, just about maybe maybe a quarter of um, maybe a yeah maybe a quarter of um, milk. And then I'm gonna go with a half. Um, half cup of water. Okay, and we're going to mix this. And if it's still too thick, because it doesn't need to be really thick, you can add either water or milk. I'm just gonna add a little bit more milk, maybe a little bit more water. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Just slowly, slowly stir it in. Don't just dump it in because you don't want it too loose. And I'm thinking maybe this is cool. Yeah, so this is fine. So that's like a quarter of a cup also. Extra. So just know that your batter should be like that. Okay, so I'm going to come back once the oil is heated. Okay, so I'm back. Our oil is nice and hot enough, as you can hear. So I just put the bowls in order. So we're going to go from shrimp to wet to dry. So my hands are clean. I just washed them. So you just take the shrimp. I did keep the tails on. You just put it in there. Like, kind of like dust it off a little too, you don't want too much um, 
on there. Then I just like kind of shake it up into the dry. And then this is what we have. And then you just lay it in your oil. I got my oil on like medium low. And then I just repeat the process. I'm gonna do it one more time. I take a shrimp, put it in the wet batter, kind of, you know, wipe it off a little bit, not too wet. Well, of course, fully wet, but not uh, all cakey up. So we just put it in the dry, shake it up in there. Go ahead. And then also you can raise the heat to like six to like medium high. So okay. So then this is how it looks. And we just lay it in our oil. So I'm gonna continue to do this and we'll be right back. Okay. And this is how it should be looking. Let it cook a good two to three minutes on each side and then you flip them and then we'll be right back. So far this is how well course so far this is the last result of the fried shrimp this is how they came out nice and crispy and delicious they are so good you guys should give them a try you can go in with some ketchup whatever you use i like to use this tartar sauce and they are bomb so give it a try leave a comment and a like and i'll see you guys in the next video bye